Alright guys, and welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I am back. I'm feeling a little bit better from the last part because I got some food in my stomach and I actually have a Sobe by my side. And you know how much I love Sobe. But anyway, I am back. I don't feel light-headed as much, but it's a lot more bearable now. And what we want to do now is actually move on to the public beach area, I believe, because we need to look for clues with Maya. See if we can find it. Whoa, what the hell? Is that a samurai? What, what's that? That's the steel samurai, Nick! Yo, Maya! Larry, what the heck is this? It was my girl Kianse's idea. Kianse, son. She was all like, if you like, put this here, it would be like really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow! That's really impressive she could find those for you. But she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished now, so she's got them for free. Nice. Right. Kianse. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Wait, what? Yo, Nick! Should I put a ring on it or what? What happened with Edgeworth? <laughs> well, we made it through the first day in Cordor, right? I don't know how good our prospects are here from here on, though. Huh. Hey Larry, did you know Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for a year. He transferred to schools pretty quickly. He transferred schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Right, when the DLC incident happened. It <laughs> The DLC incident. <laughs> I keep saying that. I mean to say six, but you know what? From here on out, I'll, I guess I'll try to say DL6. I'll have to read it slowly. <laughs> Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. The big samurai. Hey, Larry. What was that big thing up there before? Oh, the big guy. I had that for about a month, yeah? It's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Oh right, the compressor was bu uh, the compressor was busted. Compressor, yeah, it's the little unit by my hot dog stand. That's what I use to put air into the uh, steel samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh, and here I thought you inflated it by yourself. <laughs> Maybe we should show Edgeworth a picture. No, show him the newspaper. That's what we should do. Gordy article. That's the guy that's selling my hot dogs faster than I can cook them. Do you think Gordy really exists? Nah, I think somebody probably saw something else that they just thought was Gordy. But I'll keep selling samurai dogs until the truth is out. Alright, how about the Robert Optopsy report? Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. I'm a mere seller of hot dogs. How dogs? Lotter's deposition? I don't think we're getting anything out of that. Dun, 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 dun. Nope. Anything else we can maybe show What would be like an object of interest? Maybe the lake photo. Nope. Overhead map. Sorry, Nick, I just don't know anything you're trying to show me right now. Sorry, bruh. Lot his camera. So nope, he just he doesn't even say anything to that anymore. Alright, looks like we're done. Let's move to the next area. You know what? Before we move, let's examine the new. Let's examine this. Doesn't that steel samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. I guess it's good advertising though. Something about this still samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. Still novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. These still samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. <laughs> now there's flags and such up here. You see this? Looks sadly out of place. Flapping listlessly back and forth in the cold wind under a cold sky. I don't know. I think it gives the place a kind of a festival atmosphere. 
It reminds me of the War of the Eyeglasses. Huh? The War of the what? Let me guess, a samurai film. Huh? What? You mean you don't know about the War of the Eyeglasses? What the heck is it? Our local fair used to do it every summer. I guess we were the only ones. I ask again. What the heck is it? <laughs> Anything in this trash can maybe? At least the place is well maintained. Boom bam 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 December 26 boat rental shop Oh so it's so quiet here I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with that murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. I get it. Bum, 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 bum. Nice, it still plays. The still samurai theme still plays, even though Larry Butts isn't talking anything. Um. What else we didn't we check? Oh, the Lake Woods, that's right. Maybe Lada is here. A lot of heart. Hey, y'all. Y'all find anything out about Gordy? Uh, no, nothing yet. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at night time. Nah, saying. It is a little chilly, though. I think I have to sne sneeze. Whoa. No, you don't know sneak. Watch you. Whoa. Damn. I told you now sneezing. Damn. See, I set the, I set the camera to respond to things a little softer than I bang. It'll trick on one of Von Karma's finger snaps now. Ha. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry is nice, but what about my feel? Nick, pay the lady. Again? Ha. <laughs> My wallet! My lawyer money! <laughs> My defense money! <laughs> Yo, Street Fighter 4 reference. I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testifying is serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about the case anymore. Huh? Whoa, didn't you say you had a lot of information about that case? Tell us that at least. Like I say it. I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy. Gordy. What are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative pro photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one, I should say? You bet, a UFO. A UFO? UFO, U-F-O, a UFO. A UFO. Anyway, if I can get a, a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. So you really are a university student. Yeah, well, I'm taking a little break for now. <laughs> she dropped out. Come on, a lot of heart. You're making us look bad. You're making us light skinned fools look bad. You're making us light skinned brothers look bad. <laughs> Don't matter if you're a female. If you light skin, you represent the light skin clan. All right, let's move. Apparently, we gotta go somehow get information about Gordy. Let's ask. Maybe if we show him the Gordy article. Yeah, now we can show it to him now since we need to show him that. That's the guy that's selling. Oh wait, we could have been in show. What? Never mind. Never mind. I'm tripping. We need to go find some information about Gordy. Let's go to the boat rental shop. No, nothing here. Gotta get out of here. We gotta go find information about Gordy. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to Detective Gumshoe if he's available to see if he has any information for us. December 26th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Nice. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean again? 
Whatever. Have a seat, pal. Have some coffee. Besides, I'm here to help you if you need anything. Of course, not money. <laughs> okay. The investigation. How's the investigation proceeding? It's not really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in a DL6. It, was that DLC? I think I said six incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. They'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Damn, we gotta be on the watch out for that, man. I gotta admit it, pal. It doesn't look good. Alright, let's ask him about Gordy. Hmm. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? The monster down Gord Lake? Not personally. No. Um, we're looking for him. Huh? Are you out of your minds? What? You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Damn. Oh, Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. <laughs> I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lada. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at ya. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid you in your search for Gordy. Huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Oh. Really? You can take whatever one you like. Secret weapons, huh? Okay, give us the goods! Hold on now, everything's in due time. Everything in due time. First, let me show them to ya. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one, Missile. M missile? He's a K-9 police dog, still in training. Missile, missile! Here, boy! Here, boy! Ooh, who is Missile? Here he is. Hey! That dog is in, uh... The Missile dog is in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 when you summon... I think Amaterasu's uh, special, or was it a Phoenix Wright attack? I don't know, but it's a dog in our. Uh, this dog is in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. He's cute! Look, the cute dog! A cute dog, and this will help us how? Woof! Next, secret weapon number two a fishing pole. And this is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah! How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Well, you'll never know until you try, pal! Ugh! <laughs> okay, the next one is the last one. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. <laughs> Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. Here! Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right! How are we supposed to fi find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know, it might actually... I've been eating soda cans. Haha. <laughs> well, which will it be? Um, I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either, for the totally opposite reason. Oh, well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. Let's borrow the metal detector. Sure thing, pal. I'm not so sure we're going to find. Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped the button on accident. I wasn't able to read the rest of that text. I'm so sorry. But anyway, remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Borrow metal detector. So we have a metal detector now, and we have to go use it on the beach. Time to go hit up the beach. The beach. We at the beach, son. So let us... Do we have to, like... Just flat out use the metal detector. Or examine. I don't know how to use the metal detector. Maybe we just have to talk or look around the next area. The public beach. Yeah, the metal detector on a beach makes sense, right? 
Bim, 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 bim. Let's present him the metal detector. Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. Let me a sell of hot dogs. Alright, examine. Trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. Huh. <laughs> Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Alright, so how the hell do you use the, uh... The metal detector. They're original samurai dogs, no less. Hey man, whoever calls the proc their original first wins. <laughs> Why don't you add world famous to the sign? Hey, good idea. What have I done? Ha! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Examine the sign, huh? I almost didn't notice that signpost. Left, boat docks, right, exit. Okay, this is crazy. How the hell do you even use... The metal detector makes a noise when metallic objects are near. A useful detection device. Let's go to the boat rental shop with it. Ah! Look at this! Beep beep beep! Beep 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 beep! Wait, Nick! It's beeping! The metal detector's found something! Great Scott! It sure is loud enough! Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? Cause you found it first! Maybe it's a gun shell or something. Nick! What the hell is that? A plastic bottle? What the hell? Huh? An air tank? The valve looks broken. What the hell? What would that air tank be used for? I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Oh, huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like flags. A string of flags. Yeah, let's go show that to uh, Mr. Larry. Let's go talk to the butts. Time to go talk to the butts. When something smells, it's usually the butts. The butts. The butts. Larry Buds Gotta talk to the Buds, talk to the Buds Talking to the Buds Now let's talk to the Buds Let's show them the air tank An empty air tank, the valve is open and a banner of flags is wrapped around it Hmm, an air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank Is it yours? Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have such a thing like that? Look, see how there are a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. Ooh, gotcha, butts! Must be a coincidence. There's strings of flags everywhere these days. Like elementary schools. And, and used car dealerships. But, come on, Larry. You ain't lying to me, are you? To go diving. To inflate something. You used this to inflate that, didn't you? Inflate what? What else? The big puffy steel samurai, bro. Now, nah, why would you go asking me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right, right. Actually, um, see, the compressor I always used was on the fritz. So I tried using the tank to inflate it just once, and uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. Ask more about the tank. It didn't go so well. Uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a little more specific, Larry? Come on, man. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us. Tell us. Fine. Whatever. It's like what I said. The compressor was busted, so I tucked the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then... Blam! The valve busted up and made this incredible noise. And that tank there took off like a rocket. That's key evidence. That could have been one reason why her photo went off once or twice. That could have been the second sound that Edgeworth heard. Or, you know, lot lolly, lot lot of heart. That could have been the second sound that played. 
and tucked my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gore Lake? It sure scared the heck out of me. Well, let's ask him about that. And maybe that's why they think it's Gordy. Maybe they, they saw that inflatable thing in the uh, the sea and they thought it was Gordy. Huh. Hmm. So the tank in the steel samurai you were trying to fill up flew away. What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th? A week ago. So it wasn't on the murder, huh? It wasn't on the day of the murder. So th it has to be when people thought it was Gordy. So whatever flew into the ocean, that butts, when he tried to inflate it, it flew off into the ocean or the lake. I said the ocean. It flew off into the lake. Someone took a picture and they thought it was like the legendary sea monster. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, Kianse gave me that still samurai after all. Kianse. Just the night before last. Flew way out there. It took me a whole, uh, me a four whole days to find it. Damn, the night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened. No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We solved one mystery at least. A mystery about Gordy. Maybe we should go tell her. Nice. Let's go talk to a lot of hot. Let's go to Gore Lake Woods. Gordy, we got some info about you. Or we got some information for you, I mean. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I've got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? We found him. Huh? Gordy? Oh, we found them already. What? I haven't seen any monsters yet. Y'all for real? Gordy really exists? Wait a minute, I need proof. You got a photo? Uh, do we have proof? I don't think we do. We have the air tank. <laughs> That's all we have. Of course I have proof. No fair, Nick. It was when I went to the bathroom, wasn't it? That's when you made contact with Gordy. Ha <laughs> ha! Enough jabbering already. Let me see your goddamn proof, boy. Let me show you this air tank. Larry's air tank. Do do do. I love this music. Boop 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 boop. What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Huh? Excuse me. What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here. A hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, who happens to be a friend of mine, tried to fill it up. He used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time... A couple was taking a photograph of the... Man, I mean, that's just such a big coincidence, man. A couple was taking a photograph of the lake at the same time that happened. This photo. Wait a minute. So you're saying that Gordy is really the still samurai? Uh, oh, she's sad. Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dream. I'm sorry, Lada. It's okay, you win. I'll give you your info like I promised. Poor Lotto. Sad music is playing because she is very sad. <laughs> so tell us this information you have. A promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said that He's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. Boat rental, huh? There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lada, we will. Let's get cracking, Nick. How down? Something else? Yeah, the night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. Huh. Wait, so you have another photo? 
well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. It's just a lake. I figured it wouldn't be much as use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but here, take it. The second lake photo, huh? That's very important. Any evidence is better evidence than no evidence. All right. Poor Lotta. It's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend, when something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> yeah, the legend of Larry. Familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. <laughs> whip that butts into shape. <laughs> you made a funny. You didn't try to make it funny. So what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to take a short break. And I'm saving the game. And once we come back, we will be back with more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney.